Have you ever wondered what life in the Philippines was like millions of years ago? A journey back in time reveals a fascinating tale of transformation. Picture this. 50 million years ago, what we now know as the Philippines was nothing more than an underwater landscape. The lush, verdant archipelago that we know today was then completely submerged, hidden from view beneath the vast blue waves of the ocean. But Earth, in its relentless cycle of creation and destruction, had other plans. Our planet's environment is dynamic, ever-shifting, and the Philippines was destined to emerge from its watery slumber. With the passing of time and the relentless march of plate tectonics, the Earth began to change. Fast forward to around 20 million years ago during the Neocene period. It was during this time that the Philippines began to make its grand appearance, rising from the depths of the sea. The process was slow, painstakingly so, but sure. The shifting of tectonic plates, the very same forces that shape our continents, pushed the land upwards, bit by bit, until it breached the surface of the water. This was a time of great geological upheaval, a time when land and sea were in constant flux. Continents drifted, oceans expanded and contracted, and in the midst of all this, the Philippines was born. From its aquatic beginnings, the archipelago has evolved into a vibrant and diverse ecosystem. Its islands, once hidden beneath the ocean, are now home to a myriad of species, each one testament to the incredible journey this land has undertaken. And so, we find ourselves in the present, standing on ground that was once beneath the ocean, living in a world that has been shaped and reshaped by the forces of nature. The Philippines, a dynamic land that rose from the depths of the sea over millions of years. How about the age of dinosaurs? Could T-Rex have roamed the lands that we now call the Philippines? Now that's a question that sparks the imagination, isn't it? Travel back in time with me to the Mesozoic era, a period that spanned over 180 million years, from approximately 252 to 66 million years ago. This era, also known as the Age of Dinosaurs, was a time when our planet was very different from what we know today. So, what about the Philippines? Was it a stomping ground for dinosaurs? Well, the Philippines as we know it was mostly underwater 50 million years ago, emerging from the depths during the Neocene period, around 20 million years ago. This makes it somewhat unlikely that large land-dwelling creatures like T-Rex roamed here. But what about marine dinosaurs or smaller land-living species? There's a possibility. Fossil evidence is sparse in the Philippines, but what has been found is intriguing. For instance, a single fossil tooth belonging to a prehistoric shark known as Cacarocles megalodon was discovered in Cagayan. This suggests that ancient seas surrounding the Philippines teemed with life, including some of the ocean's most formidable predators. On land, the discovery of a fossilized turtle in Palawan hints at the presence of smaller prehistoric creatures. Furthermore, Fossilized plant remains indicate that the islands that would become the Philippines were once covered in lush vegetation, a potential food source for herbivorous dinosaurs. So, while we may not have definitive proof, the story of dinosaurs in the Philippines is still a fascinating one. The lack of dinosaur fossils does not necessarily mean they didn't exist here. After all, the conditions for fossil formation are very specific, and fossils can be hard to find. Therefore, the absence of evidence is not necessarily evidence of absence. In the grand scheme of things, as we continue to explore and discover, who knows what surprises the past may still hold for us. So, while we may not have definitive proof, the story of dinosaurs in the Philippines is still a fascinating one. Fast forward a few million years and the first humans arrive on these islands. But who were they and where did they come from? Let's dive into the fascinating journey of the first human inhabitants of the Philippines. The islands were first inhabited by a group known as the Itas. These hardy people are believed to have crossed land bridges from the Asian mainland during the last ice age, when sea levels were significantly lower than they are today. With their dark skin, curly hair and small stature, the Itas adapted to their new home, hunting, fishing and gathering in the lush forests and along the vast coastlines. 
Now, let's travel back in time to a cave on the island of Palawan. Inside, we find the Manungal Jar, a burial jar that dates back nearly 5,000 years. It's not just a pot, but a piece of art that tells a story. The intricate carvings on the jar depict a journey to the afterlife, indicating that these early inhabitants had complex spiritual beliefs. In that same cave, we also discover the remains of the Taban Man. Carbon dating shows that these bones are around 40,000 years old, making the Taban Man one of the oldest human remains found in the Asia-Pacific region. This discovery suggests that the Philippines has been a cradle of humanity for far longer than we might have thought. But the story doesn't end there. Around 2,000 years ago, waves of Malay peoples began to migrate to the islands. They brought with them new technologies like iron tools and looms for weaving, as well as new practices like terrace farming. These Malay settlers formed the bedrock of early Philippine societies, establishing barangays, the earliest form of government in the region. This blend of cultures, technologies and beliefs laid the foundation for the diverse and vibrant society that we see in the Philippines today. From the resilient Atus to the artistic creators of the Manangul Jar, from the ancient Taban Man to the industrious Malay settlers, each played a crucial role in shaping the island's history. The rich tapestry of human history in the Philippines began with these early settlers. Before we move on to more recent history, a quick reminder. If you're enjoying this journey through time, don't forget to make it official. Subscribe to our channel and you'll always be in the loop with our latest explorations. Dive deeper into the mysteries of the past, the wonders of the present and the possibilities of the future. We've got a whole world of knowledge waiting for you. Now back to our journey through time. From native kingdoms and sultanates, the Philippines moved into a new era of foreign influence and colonial rule. This period marked a significant shift in the nation's history, setting the stage for the modern Philippines we know today. In the year 1521, the Spanish, led by the explorer Ferdinand Magellan, arrived on the shores of the islands. The encounter was a clash of cultures, with the Spanish bringing with them their religion, language and customs. This period of Spanish rule, which lasted for over three centuries, was characterized by a complex blend of resistance and adaptation by the native population. The effects of this can still be seen in the Philippines today, from the prevalence of Spanish names to the widespread practice of Catholicism. However, the Spanish weren't the only foreign powers to leave their mark on the archipelago. In 1898, following the Spanish-American War, the United States took control of the Philippines. This period saw the introduction of American education, language, and democratic institutions. It was also a time of growing Filipino nationalism and calls for independence. World War II brought yet another foreign power to the Philippines, this time in the form of Japanese occupation. This was a brutal period marked by widespread violence and suffering. Despite this, it was also a time of resilience and courage as Filipinos resisted occupation and fought for their freedom. Looking back, the colonial era was a time of great change and upheaval. It was a period that saw the Philippines transformed by foreign influences, from the Spanish to the Americans and Japanese. These experiences, both the hardships and the triumphs, have left an indelible mark on the nation's identity. The colonial era, a time of great change and upheaval, forever shaped the Philippines we know today. Through it all, the Filipino spirit remained unbroken, a testament to the resilience and strength of this remarkable nation. Finally, we arrive at the modern Philippines, a vibrant country with a rich history and a diverse culture. Emerging from the shadows of colonial rule, the Philippines declared its independence in the mid-20th century, marking the dawn of a new era. This period witnessed significant economic development as the Philippines embraced globalization. Establishing itself as a key player in the global market, the nation has seen remarkable growth in sectors such as information technology, manufacturing, and tourism. Yet like any other developing country, it has faced its share of challenges, including issues of poverty, corruption, and environmental degradation. These problems, while substantial, have not defeated the indomitable spirit of the Filipino people. The modern Philippines is a melting pot of cultures, 
a testament to its diverse history. Indigenous traditions blend seamlessly with influences from Spain, America, and Asia, resulting in a unique cultural tapestry. From the rhythmic beats of traditional Filipino music to the colorful fiestas, from the country's love for basketball to its world-renowned hospitality, every aspect of Filipino life is a celebration of this cultural diversity. And let's not forget the Filipino cuisine, a gastronomic delight that combines local ingredients with Spanish, Chinese, and American culinary techniques. One bite of adobo or sinigang, and you'll understand why Filipino food is gaining international acclaim. From ancient archipelago to modern nation, the Philippines has a history as diverse and dynamic as its people. So that was a quick trip through millions of years of history. We've journeyed from the ancient archipelago submerged beneath the waves, through to the age of dinosaurs when the land began to form. We've traced the arrival of humans, witnessed the impact of colonial times, and seen the vibrant modern Philippines as it stands today. Each chapter of this story underscores the dynamic nature of our Earth and the ever-changing arrangement of plate tectonics and continents. This fascinating journey into the past certainly sparks curiosity and wonder. Subscribe for more amazing content. Keep wondering. Don't miss out on future explorations and discoveries. Hit subscribe and ring the bell to stay updated with our new content. Your journey of wonder continues with every video. Stay connected and engaged on social media. Continue the conversation, follow us. Thank you for being a part of the Have You Ever Wondered community. Keep wondering, keep discovering. Until next time.